Centered in downtown DeLand at the heart of Florida, Stetson University was Florida's first private university. For more than 125 years, Stetson has remained focused on sharpening the capacity for significance in each of its individual students, encouraging personal growth and intellectual development in equal measure. Founded as DeLand Academy in 1883 by New York philanthropist Henry Addison DeLand, Stetson became a university five years later and was renamed in 1889 to honor one of its founding trustees and greatest benefactors, famed hat manufacturer John B. Stetson. Henry A. DeLand had established the city of DeLand just seven years prior to starting his academy and sought to give his city an air of distinction apart from the prosperous orange groves and tourist industry that had taken root, but were fairly common throughout central Florida. Noting that there were no four-year colleges anywhere in Florida at the time, DeLand decided it would be of greatest benefit to turn his city into a center of learning. And so, in its first quarter century, a number of the university's most iconic buildings were constructed, including DeLand Hall, the oldest building in Florida in continuous use for higher education, Elizabeth Hall, named for John B. Stetson's wife Elizabeth Schindler Stetson, Flagler Hall, financed and styled by railway magnate Henry Flagler, and Samson Hall, financed by steel magnate Andrew Carnegie. These buildings remain the center of campus, home to offices, the university chapel, and much of the College of Arts and Sciences. But Stetson's first president, Dr. John F. Forbes, held an essential institutional principle that still prevails today, that buildings and equipment are indeed the powerful tools of a university, but that the most important thing is to find men and women of large heart and mind, apt to teach and full of enthusiasm and stimulating power. As important as teaching students was equipping them to learn continuously of their own accord, to develop in the student the habit of independent judgment, of investigating statements and principles for oneself, and thus for oneself discover their truth or falsity. It was this very sentiment that impressed John B. Stetson into accepting a position on the university's board of trustees, and eventually heading the board as its president. Stetson had originally thought that people established colleges to make money, but was pleased to find such noble motivations behind what DeLand and Forbes were doing. Stetson University's motto has always epitomized its founders' higher intentions, pro Deo et veritate, for God and truth. Stetson students were and are encouraged to integrate the academic rigor of their liberal arts educations with the search for meaning and significance in their lives and communities. For much of the university's history, this included a close relationship with the Florida Baptist Convention, which influenced many of Stetson's policies and provided financial support. Though this religious affiliation was dissolved in 1993, Stetson University has since honored its Christian heritage by remaining committed to a values-centric identity and curriculum. While the precise delineation of university values has evolved through the years, Stetson's mandate for significance has remained constant. Today, students are taught to embrace all forms of human diversity and social responsibility as they develop an understanding of their own global citizenship. But Stetson has always been a progressive force in the academic world. Not only was Stetson's College of Law the first law school in Florida, it became the first in Florida to admit women and graduated the first Floridian woman lawyer in 1908. Likewise, in 1962, Stetson became the first private university in Florida to enroll African-American students. In 1971, political science professor T. Wayne Bailey initiated the nation's first collegiate-level model senate at Stetson. And in 2003, Stetson's Lynn Business Center became the first certified green building in Florida under LEED specifications. Stetson's School of Business Administration was Florida's first. Stetson's School of Music was Florida's first. Even Stetson's college newspaper was Florida's first. Under the guidance of its professors, trustees, and presidents, Stetson has constantly set the Florida standards for what an institution of higher learning can strive to be, and, in turn, what a student can strive to be. As Stetson's second president, Dr. Lincoln Hulley, put it, the real end of an education is to deepen a student's sympathies with his fellow men, to enrich his experiences that he may be more of a force among his fellow men. Under President Hulley, Stetson University's student body grew to 500. Under Dr. William Sims Allen, it grew to 2,000, and the music and business disciplines were established as separate schools. Dr. J. Ollie Edmonds' leadership saw the university double in size to 80 acres, with the construction of more than a dozen new buildings, including Allen Hall, Sage Hall, Davis Hall, the Carlton Union Building, and the Emily, Smith, Gordis, and Carson Hollis residence halls. 
In 1964, Edmonds led the way during Operation Booklift, in which the entire contents of the old Samson Hall Library were hand-lifted across the quad to the new DuPont Ball Library by a host of volunteer faculty, staff, and students. This shift in facilities echoed an even more dramatic relocation under President Edmonds, when the College of Law was given its own campus in Gulfport on Florida's west coast. A post-war enrollment boom had necessitated this expansion, and the Stetson University College of Law has occupied the grounds and buildings of the beautiful former Hotel Rolliat ever since. In addition to providing extra space, moving to the Tampa Bay area enhanced student opportunities by putting Stetson Law in close proximity to important state and federal courts. Meanwhile, opportunities for students in DeLand would grow as well. Dr. Paul F. Guerin initiated Stetson's foreign exchange program, beginning a legacy of student travel. Dr. John E. Johns expanded Stetson Athletics while increasing the university endowment and operating funds. Dr. Pope A. Duncan completed a $50 million fundraising campaign, administered Stetson's selection for Florida's first private university chapter of Phi Beta Kappa, and oversaw the establishment of Stetson's renowned Roland George Investments Program. But the university was brought into the 21st century by Dr. H. Douglas Lee, who oversaw Stetson's break from the Baptist Convention and established a values council to keep a strategic eye on the university's evolving social goals and ethical ideals. In his own words, President Lee sought the integration of values into the teaching-learning process through active forms of social responsibility. Under Dr. Lee's leadership, Stetson's community and international outreach programs grew into a centerpiece component of the school's identity. Combining a variety of hands-on learning opportunities with real-world impact, these service, education, and engagement programs are the in-action embodiment of moving beyond success to significance. Stetson's work in the community has kept the relationship between the university and the city of DeLand a close and mutually beneficial one. Working directly with community organizations and local government, students are able to gain first-hand experience while making a profound difference before graduation. Similarly, Stetson Law students have annually provided up to 19,000 hours of legal and non-legal pro bono service, assisting at over 100 locations in the Tampa Bay area and across Florida. At the global level, Stetson students and faculty regularly make their presence known wherever it is needed most. Dr. Lee's years as president saw the student body expand to over 3,500, but retain an intimate faculty-student ratio of 11 to 1. The physical campus expanded to include Griffith Hall, the Lynn Business Center, the Hollis Center, Wilson Athletic Center, the Hand Art Center, the University Village Apartments, McMahon Hall, and the Rinker Environmental Learning Center, reaching a sum total of 175 acres. The baseball program expanded to Melching Field at Conrad Park, while the softball program flourished anew at the Wilson Field Complex. In an effort to increase the reach of Stetson's graduate programs, satellite campuses were opened in celebration for additional business, teacher education, and counseling programs, and Tampa for law. And under its ninth president, Dr. Wendy B. Libby, Stetson has already taken the first steps into a new era of growth. In her first few years as president, Dr. Libby has directed a massive campus grounds restoration and beautification effort, created the Office of University Marketing to polish Stetson's image, welcomed the largest incoming class in Stetson's history, and announced the return of football to the university's athletics roster, a program absent at Stetson since 1957. With these brand expansions, Stetson's voice as a national institution has become stronger than ever, while its mission to achieve significance through innovation is as focused as ever. With its four campuses and diverse array of programs, consistently praised as among the nation's best by top-tier publications, Stetson University strikes a significant swath across Central Florida, serving both graduate and undergraduate students with world-class resources and challenging academic programs that encourage personal growth, intellectual development, and global citizenship. In a world where an increasing number of institutions award degrees for the most basic of accomplishments, Stetson continues its 125-year tradition of holding students to higher standards. Stetson University dares to be significant and dares its students to follow suit.